The Next Cycle, Season 29, Episode 4. The point is Henry, I bought you such a nice suit for today, and you came dressed like a best man. What are you on about? This is polyester. It's nice stuff. Anyway you can't talk. You basically look like a wag. At least I made an effort. I'm only wearing cotton made clothes. What's the issue anyway? It's not like my mom is going to see me wearing it is she? She's in a coffin remember? Let's just go to the funeral. And while we are there, act like we don't know each other. I don't associate myself with polyester Peters. Hey Rosie. Want a coffee? Jade what the bloody hell are you doing here? What so it's my own grandmother's funeral and I can't show up? That's a joke. Has this family forgotten that I exist again? No silly. What I meant was what are you doing in my house? How did you get in my house? Did you not see me last night when you came back from work? I'm surprised you didn't. I was playing a game. Instead of where's Wally? Where's Jade? And I hid behind your back as you unlocked the door and slept under your bed last night. You weirdo. Well come on. We have a funeral to go to. It's not a party. Just remember that. Hello everyone. Welcome welcome welcome. Today I am doing this service for free. Just thought I'd let you all know. One because I did offer. But that's only because Kazek didn't have a penny to her name. Today we celebrate the life and remember all the memories of Kazek Majek. Wife to long lost dead husband Jack. Mother to Henry. Grandmother to Rosie and Jade. Kazek was a nice woman wasn't she? Yeah. Well. Yeah I suppose she was. The first thing to do is to have her son, Henry to make the speech. I don't think I can. Would you Vanessa? What? Me? I have nothing prepared. What kind of indignity will you grace me with next? Oh come on Vanessa. You're basically a stepmother figure to me. I barely know you Henry. I left the area way before you were born. And didn't speak to your mother for 36 years after that. I've never had anything to do with you. Yes but you love my mom don't you? You and her were together before my dad and her. And if you didn't love her you wouldn't be here right? Okay I'll do the speech. Ahem. <coughs> Kazak was. A world of special. She lit up my world. When she was a part of it. I remember when we first met. An old public celebrity enemy, Kiernan, brought her into my mom's home. They were homeless together. And we hit it off straight away. Not sexually. I can't believe all this time has passed since we met. And look where we are now. At the end of our journey together. And I really wish it wasn't. My biggest regret with Kazek was breaking up with her at the time of Josh and Ella's dictatorship. While none of you, other than Gordon would have been around for. I'm sorry. I have been so emotionally damaged since we broke up all those years ago. I felt ready to tell her that I loved her again. And I never got the chance. I told her too late. I'm sorry everyone. I am really bombing this speech. But my final bit of this speech would be some advice. To any new lovers out there. Don't waste any more time holding back from telling anyone how you feel. If you like them then you should trust them. And there's no one in this world that I trust more than Kazek. Thank you Vanessa, very much. Now since we are not allowed any religious connotation to this funeral service. We can't say Amen. Therefore, I would like to say thank you for coming. I hope you can stop grieving as soon as the light on the traffic light turns green. Goodbye everyone. It was good to see you again Dad. I miss having you here. I miss seeing you too. You should come out to Somalia sometime. Of course I will. But now isn't the greatest time to be honest. I have just finished filming my new blockbuster film. That will be in cinemas soon. And the trailer is about to premiere. 
So until after all that I'm stuck here for now. Don't forget me when you're famous. I am so proud of you Rosie. Thanks dad. Oh and that guy who was at the funeral. What's his name again? Matt. I saw him staring at you. He gives me good vibes. I think you two could be soulmates. But out of it dad. Go or you'll miss your plane back to Somalia. Okay love you bye. Well I guess it's just us two left. Actually. I'm heading back to Italy tomorrow. I only came here for the funeral. So you're on your own again Rosie.